Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is we're going to state whether each of the following equations represents a quadratic function or not by means of equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before answering these numbers 1 to 7, is you need to know class what would be the general form of quadratic function. And the general form, that would be f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Or you can also write this one as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So either of these two class, you can write f of x or y. That's actually the same class, f of x or y. And your a class should not be equal to 0. Just remember this one class, a should not be equal to 0 in quadratic function. Now you would be asking, sir, why is that, why is that a should not be equal to 0? Because if a is 0, okay, in this equation, plus y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, if your a is 0, so substitute the value of 0, and 0 times x squared, okay, 0 times x squared plus bx plus c, 0 times x squared, that would be 0. So, you will erase this one, and always remember that in quadratic function, the highest degree is always 2. Remember this one class that in quadratic function, the highest degree is always 2. So when will we know that a function is a quadratic function? Very easy class. Just check the degree and the highest degree must be 2. The highest degree must be 2. Alright sir, what if there are some questions class. What if sir, we have y equals 6x squared. Is this a quadratic function? Is this a quadratic function, sir? What if we have y equals 6x squared? Yep, we can also call this one as a quadratic function because the highest degree is 2. Now, sir, we don't have the value of b and c. That's correct. You don't have the value of your b and you don't have the value of your c. That's automatic. Your b and c is equal to 0. Okay, equal to 0. But this is still a quadratic function class because the highest degree is 2. I hope you get this one class. You're, you understand this one. That y equals 6x squared, we call that quadratic function because the highest degree or the highest exponent of x is 2. Even if you don't have the value of b and c, that's automatic. Your b and c, the value is 0. Okay, so once again, in quadratic function, this will be the equation. And the highest degree should be equal to 2. The highest degree is 2. Alright, so number 1 plus y equals x squared plus 2. Is it a quadratic function? Yep, that's a quadratic function because the highest exponent of the variable x is 2. So we have 2 here, so therefore, this is a quadratic function. So I will just put QF class, quadratic function. We don't have enough space, so I'll just put quadratic function or QF. Now, number 2. Is it a quadratic function for number 2? Mm-hmm. So we are not yet sure because the exponent of x here is 1, same with this one. But we need to simplify class. You, you need to simplify this one before determine, before you determine if it's a quadratic function or not. So let's simplify. So this will be y equals x times x minus 3. So distributive property, you distribute x times x. So this is y equals x times x, that would be x squared x times negative 3, that's negative 3x. So, is this a quadratic function? Yep, that's a quadratic function because the highest degree is 2. The highest degree class is 2, so therefore, that is a quadratic function. Easy, right, for quadratic function? Alright, number 3, is it a quadratic function? Yep, that's a quadratic function because the highest degree of x, the highest exponent is 2. So, this is a quadratic function. So that's how you determine class. Very easy. Just check the degree. If the highest exponent is 2, therefore, that is a quadratic function. Alright, so you can arrange this one. You can write this one as y equals this one class number 3, negative 2x squared plus 9. This is just the same class. If you are just told, determine if it's a quadratic function or not, no need to arrange class. Alright, so number 4. The exponent is x, it's not 2, so therefore this is not a quadratic function. I will just put, okay, not quadratic function. Because the exponent class is not 2, it is x. 
All right, number five class. Check the highest exponent. Is it two? Nope. The highest exponent here is three. Therefore, this is not a quadratic function. It should be two class. The highest exponent, it should be two for us to determine if it's a quadratic function. So, since this is three, this is not a quadratic function. All right, number six class. Is it a quadratic function or not? Let's, we are not yet sure, so we need to simplify. So y equals quantity x minus 2, quantity x plus 4. So we do the FOIL method. Do you still remember the FOIL method? First, outer, inner, last. So first, x times x, that would be x squared. Outer, x times positive 4, that's positive 4x. Inner, negative 2 times, negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. Then last, negative 2 times positive 4, that's negative 8. Then combine like terms, this will be x squared, 4x minus 2x. That would be positive 2x, so 4 minus 2 is 2. Simply copy class the variable x, copy x, then minus 8. So y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. What would be the highest exponent class? That's correct, that is 2. So since the highest exponent is 2, therefore this function is a quadratic function. Is it right for number 6? Alright, number 7 class. So, is it a quadratic function for number 7? Nope, you are not yet sure because you need to simplify class. So, you simplify. This will be y equals, you distribute, distributive property. So, x times x, that would be x squared. x times positive 3, that's positive 3x. Copy negative 15. Alright, so is it a quadratic function? Yep, that's a quadratic function because the highest exponent is 2. So this is a quadratic function. That's it, class. That's how you determine if it's a quadratic function or not by means of equations. Very easy, right? So how about this one, class? You try this one. Just write your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check if you really understand our topic. So what if you have y equals 2, then quantity, x plus 2 squared. Is it a quadratic function or not? So you try this one class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Okay, you solve this one and then you check if it's a quadratic function or not. So I hope class you learned something new today. If you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and dear classmates so that we can help more students. Once again class, the next part of our video, we're going to state if it's quadratic function or not by means of tables of values. So this time class, we are dealing with equation. Next part will be table of values. Alright, so once again class, goodbye for now. Bye-bye!